Have you ever wondered how P&G and Colgate compare in terms of their financial performance? Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the financials of these two consumer goods behemoths, Procter & Gamble and Colgate. Both of these companies have been around for over a century, making them well-established players in the industry. They've weathered market ups and downs, technological changes, and shifting consumer trends, yet they continue to thrive and remain relevant. But how exactly do they stack up against each other in the financial arena? We'll be exploring this question by examining various financial parameters such as revenue, profit margins, investment returns, and overall financial health. It's a face-off between two titans, a battle of numbers, ratios, and percentages, and we're here to dissect it all for you. So, buckle up, this is going to be an enlightening ride. Stay with us as we delve into the financials of these two giants and see who comes out on top. Let's start by comparing the revenues of the two companies. In 2023, Procter & Gamble, better known as P&G, pulled in a total revenue of $82 billion. On the other hand, Colgate's total revenue for the same year was $20 billion. Looking at the past five years, PG's revenue grew at a compounded annual growth rate, or KGR, of 4%, while Colgate saw a slightly higher growth rate at 5%. Now let's delve into their revenue structures. PG's revenue mainly comes from five segments beauty contributing 18%, grooming 8%, healthcare 14%, fabric and home care a hefty 35%, and baby feminine and family care rounding out the rest at 25%. On the flip side, Colgate's revenue structure is simpler with 78% coming from oral, personal and home care products, and the remaining 22% from pet nutrition. In terms of geographical revenue distribution, PEG's revenue is almost evenly split with 47% coming from the United States and the remaining 53% from international markets. Colgate, however, has a more diverse revenue distribution with 35% from North America, 24% from Latin America, 14% from Europe, 14% from Asia Pacific, and the remaining 13% from other regions. Clearly, both companies have strong revenue streams, but with different growth rates and geographical distributions. P&G has a larger total revenue and a more balanced geographical distribution, while Colgate has a slightly higher growth rate and a more diversified revenue distribution. This comparison gives us a glimpse into the unique strengths of each company and sets the stage for further analysis on their profitability, investment returns, financial health, and operational efficiency. Now, let's move on to the profitability of P&G and Colgate. First, let's talk about gross profit margins. In 2023, PG's gross profit margin was 48%, while Colgate's was notably higher at 58%. This difference indicates that Colgate was more efficient in converting raw materials into revenues. Next, we'll look at net profit margins. P&G had a net profit margin of 18% in 2023, whereas Colgate's net profit margin was 12%. This means P&G was more successful in converting its revenues into actual profit, after accounting for all expenses. Now let's discuss the net profits. In 2023, PG's net profit was $14.7 billion, while Colgate's net profit was $2.3 billion. These numbers show that P&G made substantially more profit than Colgate in that year. However, the story doesn't end there. It's also important to consider the growth rates of these profits over the past five years. From 2018 to 2023, PG's net profit grew at a compound annual growth rate of 8%. On the other hand, Colgate's net profit saw a decrease in growth, with a compound annual growth rate of negative 1%. This indicates that P&G has been more successful in increasing its profits over this time period. In summary, while both companies are profitable, they exhibit different profit margins and growth rates. P&G has a lower gross profit margin than Colgate, but a higher net profit margin. Moreover, P&G has seen a steady increase in its net profit over the past five years, while Colgate's net profit growth has declined. This analysis reveals the differences in the profitability of these two consumer goods giants. It's a reminder that profitability isn't just about the bottom line, but also about how effectively a company can generate that profit and how sustainable that profit growth is over time. While both companies are profitable, they exhibit different profit margins and growth rates. Let's now look at how an investment in P&G and Colgate would have fared over the past five years. Suppose you invested $1,000 in each of these companies in 2018. By February of 2024, 
your investment in P&G would have grown to $1,714. This represents a 71% increase from the initial investment, or an annual return of 11%. On the other hand, if you had invested the same amount in Colgate, your investment would now be worth $1,403. This is a 40% increase from the initial investment, corresponding to an annual return of 7%. These figures reflect the overall growth of the companies and their ability to generate profits over this period. Clearly both companies have provided decent returns to their shareholders, but with different rates of return. Now let's analyze the financial health of P&G and Colgate. Starting with total assets, P&G closed the year 2023 with a total of $121 billion, while Colgate's total assets were $16 billion. Net assets, which are total assets minus total liabilities, stood at $47 billion for P&G and $1 billion for Colgate. Now let's move on to equity to total assets. Equity is a measure of a company's net value. For P&G, equity to total assets was 39%, indicating that a significant portion of its assets were financed by shareholders' equity. In contrast, Colgate's equity to total assets was 6%, implying that a larger proportion of its assets were financed by debt. Looking at the current ratios, which measure a company's ability to pay its short-term obligations, P&G had a current ratio of 0.63, while Colgate had a higher ratio of 1.11. This suggests that Colgate was better positioned to pay off its short-term liabilities with its short-term assets. Moreover, the quick ratios, which exclude inventory from current assets, were 0.44 for P&G and 0.71 for Colgate. This indicates that without relying on the sale of inventory, Colgate still had a higher proportion of liquid assets to cover its current liabilities compared to P&G. In summary, both P&G and Colgate demonstrated strong financial health in 2023. However, P&G had a higher total and net assets, and a higher proportion of assets financed by equity. On the other hand, Colgate had higher liquidity as reflected by its current and quick ratios, and a higher proportion of assets financed by debt. Both companies show strong financial health, but with different levels of liquidity and leverage. Finally, let's look at the operational efficiency of P&G and Colgate. In 2023, P&G's inventory days were 60, meaning goods stayed on average 60 days in inventory before being sold. On the other hand, Colgate's inventory days were noticeably higher at 90. This shows P&G's stronger inventory management, selling its products faster than Colgate. Next, let's consider the receivable days. P&G had 24 days, while Colgate had slightly more at 29 days. This means P&G is quicker at collecting payments from its customers. Analyzing the cash flow, P&G generated $17 billion from operating activities, with a free cash flow of $14 billion. Colgate, though smaller, generated $4 billion in operating cash flow, and $3 billion in free cash flow. The operating cash flow to net income ratio, a key indicator of cash generation efficiency, was 1.1 for P&G and 1.6 for Colgate. As we can see, both companies have strong operational efficiencies, but with different levels of inventory management and cash flow generation. In conclusion, both P&G and Colgate have strong financial performance but with different strengths. P&G boasts a diverse revenue structure and a significant net profit of nearly $15 billion in 2023. Colgate on the other hand stands out with its impressive gross profit margin of 58% and a robust investment return rate of 40% since 2018. PG's equity to total assets ratio of 39% indicates a healthier financial standing compared to Colgate's 6%. However, Colgate surpasses P&G in terms of liquidity, with a current ratio of 1.11. In terms of operational efficiency, P&G maintains a tighter inventory and receivable days than Colgate. And while P&G has a higher operating cash flow, Colgate's operating cash flow to net income ratio is commendable. These insights should serve as a valuable guide for potential investors. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial analysis videos. Please comment below which company you would like us to analyze next.